guys. It has been a little bit since I've been on here or even vlogged. I just want to come on here and tell you guys my life changed a little bit. I ended up moving to a new house so everything is not organized and it is a disaster. <sighs> like I am a really organized person but I don't know why my office if you guys have seen my office tours, I have a lot of freaking makeup and skincare and it just gets a little bit overwhelming and I'm very overwhelmed right now because I don't know what to do and I know I want to change stuff up and eventually I'm going to change this office and make it mine because I officially can because I own the house. So I'm going to eventually make this office a little bit more me and fit my style but right now I just need to get stuff set up so I can film content and get content out for you guys. The office is a little ragged right now. I'm not gonna lie, it is all in boxes still, it is not put together, and it is a disaster. And Frankie's just over there digging in one of the bags. So these are like two of the dressers and there's another dresser which I'm balancing the camera on currently because I don't even know where my tripod is. Don't know where anything is and it's stressing me the heck out. So. Without further ado, let's get right on into it and organize my office. <laughs> this is going to be my beautiful office. I have beautiful light and I have a desk over there which I will be using for my editing and everything. But right now this is the stage. We have Frankie's toys on the ground and two of my desks, this is all stuff that Frankie has like pulled out of my office and started chewing on. So that's another reason why I gotta get this organized but this is the current state of my office so please don't judge it's a little bit of a disaster literally just threw everything in here and left it <laughs> I just didn't have the energy to actually put this all together so that is what we're gonna be doing today I am going to have to go get a screwdriver for these desks I don't know if I'm gonna put up all the desks but what I want is kind of like a filming area in front of the window so I can actually film during the daytime and get that natural light and then I kind of want to have like a client set up as well. So something for one of my clients to when they come over to do trials and all that kind of stuff, I can have like a little setup for them. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much the state of this. I am thinking I'm going to be getting rid of this big desk of mine and just enjoy the little tiny desk because my last office was a little bit too cluttered personally.
afternoon. It is a few days later. I kind of took a break from organizing this absolute disaster. Oh my gosh, my phone is just ringing off the hook. So yeah, it's been a few days. So as you can see, I'm starting to organize the closet, which is most of my books, um, just extra stuff kind of thing like that. Um, yeah, and just like some craft supplies is in there and everything too. But I am currently... <sighs> This is a disaster right here. This is all my eyeshadow palettes and kind of, I don't even know. I don't know what to do with everything. Like I kind of want to hang shelves up here and then display my eyeshadow palettes. If you guys don't already know, eyeshadow palettes are the thing I collect. That is my baby. I absolutely love eyeshadow palettes. Yeah, <laughs> I just, I don't really know what to do with them all. They're, I have so many, so I might go through and get rid of some, which might break my heart a little bit because I don't use all of them. Um, a lot of them are just collection or something that I've collected throughout the past that I should get rid of because I do have an abundance of palettes and I haven't counted how many I have, but I guarantee I have over a hundred and that is way too much eyeshadow for one person to use, but I am also a makeup lover. It is my collection, so I do value it very, very much. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go through. I did start to put stuff away here in the closet. This is a big ass closet behind me. Um, so I did just start to put some of this away and slowly, 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 but surely it is getting organized. So um, I will just put you guys on kind of a zoom again and yeah, just follow along. The beauty room is finally finished. It has been a long journey of organizing this and I'm still not done. I still wanna do different things with it. But for now, this is the state it's at. It is organized, everything is put away, it is clean. I actually know where stuff is. <laughs> so I'm going to give you guys a little quick room tour and just show you guys my beauty room. So like I said, this is not done. This is just kind of the starting stages of what I want to do. But eventually there will be shelves hang up um, so I can store my palettes and just display some of my prized possessions and moments in my makeup career and all that kind of stuff. This wall is absolutely bare and plain, so I don't know what I'm going to do here yet. The room isn't that big so I don't really want to clutter it too much I do want to be able to do clients makeup in here as well eventually so again that will be another little bit of a process and I'm sure I'll be filming that on YouTube for you guys so you guys can see it but this is where I sit and where I film so I have my ring light and my two studio lights over there and then this is a tripod for TikToks where I film and then there's just a mirror um, all my brushes, cleaning supplies, um, some stuff that I use like eye makeup remover, brush cleaner, dry shampoo. This is just easy to grab when I'm doing makeup looks and I need something. It's all right here. So this is just little stuff that I use. Again, mirror, my tripod, my camera. This is the camera I use for filming. This is a Canon 80D and I alternate between two lenses. Then I just have like my cotton pads and q-tips over here. Um, some lip liners, eyeliners. And this light usually will come out and actually will light up my backdrop. My backdrop is just right here. And when I am filming, Frankie wants to say hi. Hi, buddy. So when I am filming, this actually comes up and it is like directly right behind me. Um, I like how it's movable so I can get it out of my way when I need it to. And it opens up the room a lot and just makes it feel less cluttered. And then over here is kind of just like this is where I keep all of my makeup over here. So underneath there's just some new products I need to try out and some product empties. All of these drawers are just filled with makeup. It is actually really insane and I just did a declutter just before we moved to. So I got rid of a lot of makeup but I still have a ton. Um, this thing too over here is just filled. So if you guys want a more of an in-depth makeup organization I would sure love to do that for you guys like this collection is getting really out of hand and I don't know what to do with it but these are just a couple of books I really enjoyed this is my first I am too scared to take it out of the packaging but this and this cardboard packaging is my first magazine that I was ever published with and it is actually also framed so that is 
my first magazine publishing as a makeup artist, which was pretty freaking cool for me. This was my first PR package. Um, it was from Pixie Beauty and I still have it just for memories wise. Of course, I just have like some setting sprays and my little high school graduation bear. <laughs> and then this is my highlighters, blushes, bronzers, powders and contour, concealers, foundations and primers. This drawer is absolutely insane and now I can't even close it. So that drawer is absolutely stuck. This is just extra makeup products for my kit and sanitary things. The same with this one. This is just sponges, extra stuff, kind of thing like that. And then I have my nail polishes and Frankie is trying to eat his bone very loudly. <laughs> <laughs> and then over on the side I have lashes in here this is brow products eyeliners and mascaras um, pigments and single eyeshadows and glitters then this is all of my skincare again drawer is very full this is more skincare but this is more face masks and then over on this side we have highlighter palettes blush palettes eyeshadow palettes, lipsticks and lip glosses, all my lip products. Then this is just like my giveaway drawer, just full of a bunch of stuff. And then this is just extra body care, hair care for me. And like I said, so there's new products down here that I need to try. And then this is my empties bag. Then up here is all of my eyeshadow palettes. Um, I have a lot. I love eyeshadow palettes. It's the one thing I collect. So this is all full of eyeshadow palettes and then all these. And then of course, there was this drawer here too. These are just my smaller eyeshadow palettes. Um, and then in here, again, I have more lashes. And this is kind of my fun drawer I want to say so this is this is just like glitters and pearls and rhinestones kind of just some fun stuff for makeup looks that I can use um, I did a really cool look with these pearls and then of course you guys have seen the backdrop but what I like about it is that it is movable and then I have my closet just behind here and then this is just filled with kind of overstock perfume books my jewelry is in here my extra filming equipment and then up here is just all of my spare stuff or stuff I just don't have a place for it I just kind of throw it in the closet so this is kind of just where I keep everything collected Frankie's just really happy that I actually cleaned the rooms so now there's room for him to lay <laughs> but that is the beauty room slash filming room guys what do you think I am so mad that that drawer is stuck now and I'm gonna have to take it apart to get out whatever is stuck in there but this is the beauty room. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys really like this beauty room organization, let me know below if you guys want a more in-depth beauty room tour um, about like my makeup products and what I keep in my makeup products and everything like that, please let me know. I would love to do that for you guys. Frankie wants to come and join the upshow. <laughs> Other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever you are, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.